All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time in Paris. I've been having a lot of people tag me in videos and pictures of these double-muscled pigs on Instagram. Uh, mostly people just laughing at them and saying how stupid how stupid they look. Um, so many of you guys re may remember if you watch the documentary Bigger, Stronger, Faster. In that documentary, there's a segment about Belgian blue cows. So both these super muscled uh, pigs and these Belgian blue cows have the same type of condition. And so this is kind of a uh, double muscling process, double muscling phenotype, which is a hereditary condition. So that means they can basically breed these animals to have this condition and that's what they're doing. Um, and essentially what this condition causes is an increase in the number of muscle fibers, AKA hyperplasia. Um, so in a typical animal, this would be hypertrophy, which is simply the enlargement of individual muscle fibers instead of increasing the number of actual muscle muscle fibers so this is hyperplasia versus hypertrophy so the muscle pig phenomenon is being experienced um, in south korea and in china so essentially what they're doing there is manipulating or disrupting a single gene which causes this hereditary uh, gene modification that allows them to have this double muscled hyperplasia and then they breed that um, into the pigs so that all the pigs have that condition. Now, personally, I'm not really a fan of what they're doing because I think they're kind of trying to play God here. And essentially the purpose that they're doing this for um, is for meat production, for human consumption. They want pigs with double the muscle um, so we can theoretically feed double the people. Um, so I think that's when you're really starting to walk on thin ice is when you're starting to do things like this, um, playing God, manipulating genes um, to make a more muscular animal so we have more meat to feed to people. Just everything about that just kind of seems unethical um, and just it just doesn't seem right. So up until this point, no genetically engineered animal has been approved for human consumption anywhere in the world. So this is not a thing yet. Um, it's not approved yet. It's not something that's even really a viable option yet. And they say that down the line, this is going to take generation after generation of breeding to actually have the numbers they would need for this to even be a feasible alternative um, in terms of providing meat for human consumption. So to get a little bit more specific about what they do to the genes of these pigs, um, it's basically involving a specific type of gene called the myostatin gene. And essentially what they're doing is creating a mutation in this myostatin gene by using this uh, gene manipulating technology. So I'm sure many of you guys have heard Joe Rogan talk about this similar thing called CRISPR, but what they use for these pigs is one called Talon. So essentially it's a gene editing technology where they can kind of go in and mess with individual enzymes and genes. So essentially, without getting too scientific, because I'm sure myself and many of you probably don't understand the exact science of what's going on, so I don't wanna butcher it, um, but myostatin essentially inhibits the growth of muscle cells. So what they do is they go ahead and mutate this gene um, and kind of inhibit the myostatin gene itself so it doesn't work like it should, allowing the muscle to grow at an exponential rate that it wouldn't normally grow at um, if the myostatin was actively inhibiting it. So really the key to all this, um, all these double muscled animals and all these things that you see that are similar to this, really the key to all of these things is the whole myostatin element um, of the science behind it. And that's why you see a lot of supplement companies market products that are, I would say, are pretty much useless. Um, they market these supplements that are myostatin inhibitors that can inhibit your own myostatin. But really, there's no supplements that these guys are going to be selling that are actually going to start modifying your genes that have you... Um, effectively have this double muscling phenomenon. So I think most of the myostatin inhibitor products out there are complete garbage and comp you know a complete waste of time. Anything that you can buy from a GNC is not going to manipulate your genetics um, to the point where your body's going to start inhibiting your myostatin. So it's just it, most of that stuff I think is garbage. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about people trying to genetically engineer animals that have more muscle mass so we can you know, basically eat more of them. Do you think that's ethical? Do you think it's right? Do you think they're playing God? Um, what do you think about the whole process? Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.